Hi everybody! Today we are here at Elkmont Campground here for the synchronous fireflies. The fireflies are going to actually happen just over there later on tonight. We got our friends Chris and Mindy showing up tonight. We're going to have a little, just a little shenanigans. Uh, we'll show you a little bit of the campground and how we camp. You ready, Don? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do this. Do it. Elkmont Campground and we're N3 which means we're all the way in the back Guys, we are here. We're here at Elkmont. What do you think? It's Elkmont. It's Elkmont. And we officially arrived here at our site. And that's that's all of our camping gear, guys. It's like, it's we've really packed it in, didn't we? Yeah. And we actually had to leave things behind. I'm shocked that we got that in there. Yeah. But this is our this is our tent pad here. Of course, it'll be us and Chris and Mindy tonight. Uh, it's a nice little area, nice little area. Got a picnic table right here. Of course, there's actually a hiking trail that goes right by our site here. So it will be a little noisy. Um, yeah, the fire ring is a little loaded. It's got a little bit of coal there for us to, um, I guess, to finish up burning. But are you ready to unpack yeah, that Jeep? It. Oh, it's going to be fun to unpack Jeeps are good, bad, and ugly. Of course, uh, it can be hard to put everything you need for camping. And I got a little bit of everything in there. You can, just, you can see the hot dog buns and some chips. Now, the rangers told us that this site here is a crazy for bear activity. And we have to, have to make be sure. Careful. Everything's up. They also said that the bears came in here and raided last night. So, yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm excited. So we're now officially unpacked. We got our two chairs. We also have some cots. Um, kind of just got some pots and pans and, and things like that. Uh, we got some canned goods. We're only here for one night, guys, but yeah. we're going to try this tonight. It's the Sweet and Sassy Dr. Pepper Baked Beans. Dawn said, we got to try that. Of course, we always do some King's Ford, right? We got some drinking water. We got two gallons of that. Um, just some, you know, just, just the odds and end forks, you know, um, marshmallows. We got some corn down there. The corn should probably go in the cooler. Um, got some ketchup mustard, you know, just the basics. Um, and then over here, this is our canopy. So we'll have this, a canopy over the top here. And we got these uh, ballpark everything um, hamburger buns. Of course, we just got some basic. Um, chips. Um, they've been smushed a little. And some chips. Uh, individual, so when... Yeah, Dawn's like, you go camping, you don't want everybody's everybody's hands in it. And then over here we just got a nice just a little basic cooler. We don't we're not real fancy on the on the equipment, but uh, we got some dews down in there and just uh, our hamburgers. But we'll be cooking later. We'll show you guys that a little bit later. And so you ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Okay. So we got our canopy up. Yeah, so we have a little protection from the elements. Sit out here and relax a little bit. Of course, we got up our 
our chairs here. These are, they're called natural gear. I got these things like, I would say probably about 15 years ago. And we paid a lot of money for them. They were high end yeah. back in the day. Uh, but they're, they've been, yeah, they've been going on for years. You can tell that the joints here are like really, really good, well put together. That's the reason why sometimes it's only good, sometimes it's good just to buy it once, right? Yeah. Uh, we do, looks like we do have some neighbors um, over here. So uh, the only bad thing about this site is that the, some of the sites are close. Of course, we're the only two sites in this area. Everybody else is like way down over there but okay well now we're gonna we're gonna put up this tent and of course you know tents are are always fun are you excited about putting that tent up i'll try <laughs> you will <laughs> okay let's let's do that And there's our cots and um, some of our sleeping gear. Of course, Dawn has a Snoopy blanket. But anyways, our cots are a little bit bigger than our tent. Wasn't real well thought out. But uh, yeah, and then we got the rain fly over there. And of course, there's, a, there's another tent here because there's a Chris about t-shirts. Hey, how you doing? Yes. Oh, we're going to check out there. Yeah, oh, that looks comfy. Mindy's back in the bed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, are you excited, Dawn? I'm excited. Right, yeah. I'm glad they're here. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there's my rain fly there. But um, we got some charcoal. And I like to put charcoal. And then we'll cook our burgers and stuff down here I don't like to use wood because you don't know what's been the wood's been treated with or whatever so I I'll start by cooking dinner with the charcoal and then we'll switch to well wood for a little for a little campfire and um, of course we got all of the the goodies here and here's the little cooking stove that my my mom gave me that was my dad's it's never never been used so we might do a little cooking on that too. Maybe some beans. Beans oh, look, don't burn on the grill. Oh, yeah. uh -oh. Yep. yep. Uh -oh. So we'll see. We'll see. We might not need it. We might be able to just cook everything on the fire. Hopefully. You know, but if we do, we got it. We well, got some <laughs> Snoopy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And some ketchup, mustard. You gotta have ketchup, mustard. We've got homemade pumpkin pie. Homemade pumpkin pie. This is a really nice little campsite. Of course, right here is the trail to get to the fireflies. You can just walk up the trail there and um, see the fireflies. But this is really cool over here. The river is just like right here. So we're going to listen to this all night long. I guess we're going to try to fire this up a little bit. We'll give it a little bit of a dousing of, of some. But we don't want our food to taste like lighter fluid at all. Right? Right. Yeah. We've got Chris, the gourmet chef here with us tonight. And we're going to have the all-American favorite hot dogs and hamburgers. That's better than that. Don't forget the corn on the cob, Will. And they say in Greece, oompa. Chris is supervising. Am I doing this right? Yes. Quite right. All right. Well, make sure we get. We'll let her. We'll get the coals going, and then we're gonna have some hot dogs and hamburgers. So 
we got ourselves some, looks like some corn. We got some corn all in the tin foil with some butter. All right, so now we got these. These are, these are Angus steak burgers. Mmm. Yeah, Angus. They're the, good, they're the good ones here. And I'm trying not to handle them too much. It's okay. We're camping. Yeah. You expect germs when you camp. Well. We got eight Angus steak burgers and we have some corn wrapped up there in butter and of course we got our coals all nice and hot underneath there yeah it'll take us a good 20 minutes to a half hour to get that all cooked up good I so, smell them they smell good all the burgers mm -hmm. yeah and we got corn on the cob corn on the cob yeah dinner will be served here shortly It's about five o'clock in the evening here. And we can actually see the backside of Daisy Town over here. That's where we're, we're camping. There's a old Daisy Town over there. Definitely love the sound of the river here. I'd definitely go down there if it was hot and take a little dip. And it'll cool off. But definitely a beautiful camp is looking pretty good. There's old Chris. You gotta take a look at this shirt here. He's got Firefly. This is like the coolest shirt. Yeah, that's awesome. Chris, is this a, a city person's <laughs> campfire? I think it is. Yeah. That that little thing? A, I guess I'm a city slicker. Yeah. <laughs> I know you like t-shirts. I do. Check that one out. <laughs> I guess that's appropriate for what we're gonna be doing tonight. I think so. <laughs> well, it looks like they got some firewood for tonight. <laughs> no. But anyways, we got ourselves the hamburgers are cooking good. Look at that. And over here we got those uh, Dr. Pepper beans. I know you like Dr. Pepper, don't you? Yeah, that sounds like Chris, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Mindy does. Yeah. She really does actually like Dr. Pepper. I'm excited. And we're about ready to eat, aren't we? Look at this. We get the hamburgers and we got these uh, everything burger buns. And then of course we have some hot dogs, but we're gonna cook those probably later on the night on the spigot, right? What did you do to that bun? You made a happy face. <laughs> I'm going camping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get into this. Oh, wow. You got it all on your shirt. Too. I know. <laughs> now you can smell like a pickle. We're eating the Dr. Pepper bean. Do you like them? I can actually taste. Ew. I can taste I the Dr. Pepper that in is. them. Is that Dr. Pepper? Yeah, you I can, can taste it. Yeah, I can taste it. We got the Dr. Pepper beans here. They're they're a little bit on the on the watery side though, but they do um, taste like Dr. Pepper. They do. I'm not a fan of beans or Dr. Pepper, so I'm gonna get the tiny, tiny, tiny little scoop. scoop. It cut your burger in half there. Mm -hmm. That's what you're, you're, does. you're not savage? No. <laughs> Thank you. 
You know bears like sweet corn, Chris. Mm. So does Chris. <laughs> It's getting dark. It is. Pretty soon we're gonna see some some fireflies, huh? Excited for that. Yeah. And Chris got the uh, whole fire going here. Uh, we would maybe, or we might have, or might not have used lighter fluid to get this going, but but it's it's going. It's going either way. Yeah. We are heading towards the fire. Ooh, I almost ran into a rock. We're going to the synchronous fireflies. And you can't use a lot of bright light because it scares them away, or at least you'll blind everybody. You can hear the river in the background. There's a lot of folks up there with, with red lights. Firefly viewing is best when you cover your flashlight with red cellophane, point your flashlight at the ground. Help protect the fireflies in their habitat. Do not catch them. Stay on the trail and pick up all your, your garbage. So is that is that Chris and Mindy in the dark? It is. Oh wow. Okay, so we're gonna walk up to um, Millionaire's Row. And that's where you'll be able to find the fireflies. Uh, this year is a little bit different um, because we're on this end of the campground, so just a, a little bit different of a walk. But it's uh, this parking lot over here is just jam-packed full of folks. But as we get closer, I will have to turn this light off. This is scary. Look, here we go with the spooky scaries. Stop it. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic down in here. Yeah. Or is that people's flashlights? That's people's flashlights, <laughs> darling. <laughs> no, they're over here. They're twinkling over here, guys. See them? Yeah. Don't go too yeah. far ahead. Because well, let's get up there. There's one Oh, yeah, they're up there twinkling all up there in the trees. They're, they're synchronous. Oh, see them? Yeah. Yeah. They're sync. They're sequorias. There's some right there. Yeah. 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 See them? Yeah. Well, these little guys are very, very hard to see because it's got to be pitch dark. You can't even see the hand in front of your face. The cameras just can't pick it up at all. You got to believe me. You have to come here and see it for yourself. It's it's absolutely amazing. We're actually in in Daisy Town right now. There's a construction trailer there. This would be the ghost town. Here's cabin number seven. They've done a a great job at at putting these together. Over here is the, what Daisy Town uh, look like. A little history there. Just some of the homes. You can actually visit these uh, during the day. Chris, do, do you think there might be ghosts? I think there might be some up there. Yeah. Try not to blind you. <laughs> it's okay. Did you did you bring your fishing string? I did bring some actually. All right. Well, let's. I think we're ready. 
Yeah, well, let's go see if we can find some ghosts. Let's go find some ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> what, Don? You're not about the ghost? No. Well, you got a problem with the ghost? No, maybe. <laughs> but these are actually very beautiful. Wait a second. Is there something? Chris, there is somebody in that window. Did you see that? I saw him. What? What? Over there. What? What is that? Did you hear that? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, come on, Don. Don't scare me. The door is just wide open on that one. Is it open when we got here? I think that door is closed. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Did you see that? It was like a, a bat or something. Maybe that's what it was. Did you see that bat? <laughs> yeah, I seen it fly out of the house. Yeah. Now this here here is a creepy, creepy story here. You okay? About Phil. <laughs> Chris, you... It's Chris about scaring everybody. You okay? Oh, we don't need Chris Hurt during this expedition, okay. But anyways, there's actually, there's an interesting story about this cabin right here. It was made for a little girl. Right, Dawn? Is that what it is? Yeah. And um, supposedly she roams the inside of it or something. I don't know. So it's a little more creepier at night, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't find it creepy at all. I like this. This is awesome. Look at that. I'm, I don't know. I love to see. You can see the old leaded glass. Oh, yeah. And it kind of looks weird. Yeah. When you. Yeah. <laughs> Don, is that the most scariest thing out here? <laughs> the porta potties are the most scariest thing out here. Is it, is it in place? I guess. Hi. Let's... Oh well. That's what the cabins used to look like there before they redone them that is here's the back porch here's the kitchen front porch ah <laughs> you jerk <laughs> Chris slammed the door on me. <laughs> I should have played along with it, but I didn't. I thought you were going to say, what was that? What's that? Oh, that's where them, them, them. What is that? Oh, that's where those kids spray painted the inside of that cabin. Or somebody, somebody spray painted and defaced that cabin there. That's a shame. Yeah. They put all that time and effort in there. I know. Let's go. All right, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in. You can see the really nice work on this door here. Dawn's like, don't go in. This one here does have a, a feel to it, guys. I don't know what's with it. You can actually smell like a like a man's cologne or something in here. I don't know. There's the bathroom. Oh, all right, well, there's a bat in here. <laughs> there's a bat in here, dude. All right, I'm out. Guys, there's a bat in there and it swooped and got me.
enough clowning around. We're gonna head back to the the camp. There's there's the river down there. But we're gonna go back to the camp and it was fun. The fireflies were really, really good. Um, I don't think they're at peak yet. Obviously about a four or five days from now, they'll be at peak, but, uh, but it was really good to see them, but you have to come and see them for yourself. The camera just wasn't doing it. And then we got to walk through uh, Elkmont, which was really cool seeing it in the dark. Uh, I just got scared by a bat and Chris, he decided that he was going to shut a door on me in there. And it's a little cold out here. I'm actually, you can see my breath. But anyways, we're gonna go back to our campfire here and just chill out the rest of the evening. These guys here don't roast marshmallows. They, you guys roast uh, Rice Krispie treats? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chris, I didn't, make do that. I didn't know that was a thing. It is now. It is now, huh? You probably should probably patent that or something, I'm guessing. Maybe. It could be the next big thing. Maybe. You know? What if it catches on fire? I know. <laughs> it's not. That's okay. That's part of the fun. All right, well. All right, so Chris has gave us a Rice Krispie treat, and he's like, roast them. I'm like, <laughs> And he did. Hi. Oh, I touched the wood. <laughs> That's good luck. Is that good luck? I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow, it's smoking. All right, hi. Roasted marsh, roasted rice crispy treat. Huh. So, will it be me or Don that loses theirs? I'm first? like sticking to everything with <laughs> this wrapper. Mmm. Not bad, actually. How do you know when it's done? Yeah, when it burns. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's sticky. Ooh, and it's hot. Yeah, it's good. Oh my god, I lost it. Oh. <laughs> Dawn. Oh. Come on, bite of mine. Roasted Rice Krispie Treat. Hmm. I was trying to save it, but it was hot. Definitely don't overcook them. I kind of get a little bit of a burnt taste, but nothing different than like roasting your marshmallow to death either. So not too bad, actually. Sticky you know, it'd be really cool, Chris. What? Dipping it in chocolate. Oh man. Yeah. They're here enjoying this beautiful bonfire. Chris did an absolute great job stacking this one. Even though this is hardwood, it burns like popular. <laughs> well, it's got to be heat treated, right? Or it's got to be treated, so they got to pull the moisture, so it's going to burn like a twig, right? Nothing better than drinking some Mountain Dews. And... Good morning, Elkmont. Sun's just rising over the top of Daisy Town there. Yeah, it's a cool morning at about 60, about 60 degrees, I would say. Somewhere around there.
The Jeep is once packed again. Dawn's wearing her pajama bottoms. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna be riding home like that. But we cleaned up the campsite. And Chris and Mindy, yes, you guys cleaned up yours and yeah. yeah. Another another flyer firefly event done, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're back from the synchronous fireflies event. Of course it's always a great time hanging out with friends and just sitting around a campfire. And just uh, trading stories, and there's a little ghost stories, and drinking Mountain Dew, and roasting <laughs> marshmallows. Mar well, uh, Chris roast Rice Krispie treats. That was interesting. <laughs> but anyways, it was good. It was good. So Dawn, what did you think about the uh, the campground at first? It's all blunt. Now, right now, they don't have uh, their bathrooms working, so there was porta potties. Won't. Wom, wom. But they did keep them clean every day. Yeah, they did. Um, and it was not, you know, the running water and just, it, it was not like it normally was. But the campground looked pretty good. Um, and we had a great time. Uh, what did you think about the fireflies? I enjoyed them. Yes. It's something you definitely got to see with your own eyes. The camera can't pick it up because it's just too dark. Not, not, not enough light to pick them up. Just very, very hard. Um, and as the week goes on, it's going to get better. We were at the beginning, so they just started. But we've been there at peak two years ago, and wow. I would say peak would probably be this weekend coming up. Um, mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday should be peak. Uh, the weather's been a little different, too, so I don't know. It's been but, on the cooler side. Yeah. So then we went through Elkmont, the ghost town at Ooh. night. Did it scare you? <laughs> Spooky scary. <laughs> Did it scare you? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, you guys scared me more than anything. <laughs> Chris. But it's fun. And they did a great, great, great job at putting uh, the ghost town of Elkmont back together. If you didn't know, they're revitalizing it, redoing them all. And for future generations to come. Also, if you visit, definitely, definitely take care of these cabins. Because they're a part of our history. Um, and then, of course, uh, we woke up and we packed up. And, and that was it. So it was fun. It was fun. I had a lot of great time. Uh, always a great time with Chris and Mindy. Uh, Chris about t-shirts. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out uh, their YouTube channel. They'll probably have a video coming out, you know, of the fireflies too. And guys, that's going to do it for today here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. We love you and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.